Good morning on August 29th. I learned so much yesterday, and I always do one day at a time. Oh, dat. Kind of like Ohio, oh, dot, Ohio Department of Transportation. This is oh, dat, one day at a time. I just looked over and I had seen as I finally got up, I saw 9.06 a.m. My brain, I promise, on all lives to understand better. In a video the other day, for the first time, I go, hmm, what time is it? And then looked over, and I just don't do it. It's only, my brain is controlled by other things, almost like I can show how, once you get there, the powers, God, angels, etc., can handle your movements and things at, at the most beautiful level ever of just saying I, I began and worried less and less every day because I have said before when I see 6 so 9 or 6 a.m. I thought Jeremy plus 1 O-N-E or W-O-N or however you want to do it because that would always create the number that comes to me all the time and no I don't I've never sat here and went until this description actually well, it's got to be 907. Yeah, now it's 907, but my point is, um, or no, it might be 908. Wait, I'm not looking. But I looked and now it's blurry because of my wakingness. Um, with that being said, oh, the sevens, when they come to me, like the other day after the power shut off in this house and my mom's clock in the room and then the microwave over there. When I walked up, I promise, I felt, you know, God, you're with me always. And I feel so comfortable. And all the fears and everything disappears. But it's one day at a time. Things can go up and down. But even where if people knew my true story, and especially with my family and such, if you heard it all, everything that's happened and been happening, you may be in the greatest fear of all time but I go up and down with it and like I did the other day I go okay and then I forgot the electricity had went um, off and then on because I was somewhere else working out exercising with Kobe every every other day at least um, so as I was having these thoughts I went upstairs and then I saw the microwave all of a sudden it said 207. I'm like, what? Huh. And I go into my mother's room to look at her clock. It says 337 and it was blinking. I promise. And it took a lot for me. So, by the time I could get my thoughts through everything and what I should do and stuff and grab this video camera, I went up and it was 337 blinking. Not locked, but blinking. King, turned to 340 and then the 207 turned to 210 but what I'm saying is is they probably restarted it I think when power restarts they start at 12 so that one was back on for 3 hours and 37 minutes and the other 2 hour and 7 yeah so that would be 3 and a half hours 3.37. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to figure this out now. So basically, one and a half hours apart. 1.3. Yeah. So that means the one in my mom's room started and one and a half hours later, the other one kicked on. One and a half. It's something to think about if you were someone who would feel young and go, okay. If God is having you see this, Jeremy, why the hour and a half? I believe I am halfway through, possibly at the longest sharing with the world. And if we keep going, you will eventually get to that point of saying I am fully controlled, but I love it and I fear nothing and I feel great and the miracles increase, everything. 
You are all halfway through it by being in this year. And the one, so that would be one, yeah, one and a half hours. Think of it like that. It upgrades to me, for me to thinking, what is my message there? And my message from God is, dear me, let the world know that, as you were kind of saying before, but you didn't thoroughly understand why. We're halfway through. And then next year would be the one. There's so many ways to think about this. Like, what would that message mean? And the old me, yes, whether I was drinking or not, or whatever. Or even just happy and that was life. The old me would go, Jeremy, you're overthinking this entire thing. Because how we get messaged can be the most powerful thing we've ever been patient and understanding, but more importantly, just keep believing whether you understand it or not or make something of that hour and a half like I just did, but it's understanding, building your belief in God and moving forward. It could be the day, yes, during the inevitable year this year turning into then another the inevitable year, meaning it's getting better. Now it's the inevitable year again. Yeah, but next year being it and everybody just going you know what there's no way to answer slash, slash thoroughly describe and sell to the world God by everybody going look you're exactly right had the rest of this year then next year that's what came from your hour and a half of the time differences after they were an hour and a half apart one started an hour and a half later the other one after they were out of electricity, the clock and the clock. But that's overthinking, Jeremy. We need to just fit, you know what, just, 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 just let go of God, let go of all these thoughts, let's go of all of these things. And then, no, 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 no. You need to just get a job and accept all of your decisions and what it's led you to this life now today. And then what? My brain will not be with that job. Job, job. You know, like going in somewhere, working, etc. And um, getting through things so that I can see my children more and all these different things. And having fear not kicking back on about COVID-19 and what every single soul is going through. I think about all of you every night. That's why I'm going through all this with no fear. And it's because of three people. And they also might lose. Because of the adaptation our, our brains can make into certain things. If the proof isn't there, etc., then we can exit. But that's my love for this world and love for every single person I adore so much in my life. All of them. And that could be you too if you're listening to this. Because... Um, I'm here to share how God can work at a level that just, as I said, through the videos, through the exact Bible, through speeches by Donald Trump, all these things, the exact answers, well, answers do not exist, 17 letters, meaning in in a 100% of everything, it's all up here and here, and faith has come to me as to the, me explaining at this point of, look, um, know that I'm never looking at oh actually so you can I can't see the time obviously even when I finally shifted it it was right in front of me at one of one I forgot that was there until I bright lighted it back there um, when I just shifted it I didn't look at the time ticking at the top because I just don't now, as I said, when I'm with my children and other people, this matters. But know that when I'm not, I'm barely with other people. But when I'm not, it's because I don't, my brain took away knowing the time, knowing the time, knowing the time. Even when I just looked right at it, my, I'm controlled by something else. I didn't look at that time like I did the other day. This is real. So everything I share is honesty. And I'm saying, giving your full mental and emotional to God or dog if you want to call it and all angels and just saying 
one day at a time, guide me and I won't overthink anything. That's why I am so low. Because I would give my life to showing all the people in my life that were affected by my past decisions in business, everything, but also giving life my best. So I was up and down, but I'll spend my life doing that because that's what Jesus has messaged me many, many a times. That is my calling. I'm not saying it'll be yours, no way. Meaning no way you'll ever hear me say, I know all of your callings. All of them is have a factory as a way to begin to switch one day at a time into a place where you accept messages, all these things, and when you get anxiety, depression, fear, all these things coming in, how to hear them differently.